Welcome to the Queens on Decks, where I interview female DJs from around the world. I am Michelle Miller, your host of the Royal Queens Rising podcast. We share our inspiring stories and secrets to our success. Hello, everybody. Welcome. I'm DJ Rundat, the host of the Queens on Decks, where I interview female DJs from around the world. Today, I have a very special guest, DJ Woo Woo. Welcome. Hello. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Thanks for taking the time to interview me. Yeah, I'm doing great. I'm so excited. We are finally getting to do this. We've been talking about it for a long time, so I'm really excited to make it happen. So tell us a little bit about you and how you started DJing. Sure. So I started DJing because I once went to Taiwan while interning there during the summer. I went to a lot of clubs there, got introduced to electronic dance music, where a lot of my favorite EDM artists were Project 46, Chris Lake. So I wanted to be also able to play at the clubs. And I didn't know how and when I would do that, but luckily, when I went back to Boston, that's where I went to school in Boston University, I saw a mysterious sign that said DJ School Academy, and it was actually called Maven DJ Academy. So I followed the signs and I took a tour and someone actually gave me a quick intro on like how to mix and they just gave me a quick overview on what the course would look like. And I really found uh, the person who helped me really friendly. So I talked to her and engaged and got more information about the course. And soon after I was going there on weekends, just learning and taking their courses. Oh, I love that. <laughs> you just saw a sign, like how perfect. <laughs> like, like, like a literal sign, but yeah, it was a sign <laughs> to learn <laughs> DJing. <laughs> I can't help but think of the Ace of Bass song. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I saw a sign. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> so then after that, you just dove right in? Well, so I actually didn't think that it would work out long term. So I took the class, I graduated, I played in one bar called the Good Bar in Boston. Um, and shortly later, I moved back to LA. So in LA, I, I didn't think much of a DJing, honestly, because I don't think I had, I think I did have my controller back then. Um, but I was more focused on work. However, one day I just realized, hmm, I actually might want to go to DJ school again. Like, I'm still getting into this, and LA is the perfect place for DJing, where the music scene is great. So I started to enroll myself in Scratch DJ Academy. I talked to a girl named Courtney, who was one of the coordinators there, and she set me up with classes over there, and I took about two years worth of courses, um, six weeks each. So many courses there's six weeks each there was a pass and fail assignment for every course and i got introduced to like basic mixing then more advanced mixing and even took like a dabbled in music production um i still need to work on that as well that's something i want to take take on um in the future but afterwards i started getting gigs when i was getting involved with emx they're a local dj scene and they had some really cool gigs like yacht parties um parties at places called catch one so then I just started to expand on that and find my own network and gigs. Mm, I love it. A yacht party. That's actually on my vision board. DJ on oh. a big boat. We don't really have big boats where I live. We have like charter boats for fishing, but we don't have party <laughs> boats. It's a fantasy yeah. little dream of mine to like buy, buy a yacht and put it on the Humboldt Bay and host parties there. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be awesome. How fun. So what is it like DJing on a boat? I mean, do you rock the boat? Like, is it is it smooth? Is it is there any <laughs> challenges? Like, <laughs> yeah, so I went B2B with my friend Flossie. I asked her to um, come DJ with me. So it was really fun. At first, I was like, oh, no, how am I going to balance? Because I wear heels a lot. I just got a tattoo of a heel, too. And, but it was totally fine. Like I was really scared of it being rocky, but it wasn't too bad. And we were able to mix and it was really fun. And a lot of my friends came. So I was really happy and pleased. Uh, I'll have to check something out like that when I come to LA next time. Come, come find you and watch you DJ. Awesome. So what have you been doing um, during COVID as a DJ? So pre, I mean, during COVID, I'm actually DJing a lot more than I used to, which is 
really, it, it was abnormal to me because I didn't think it happened like that. Right now, I'm actually doing a 30-day stream challenge where I'm DJing on Twitch every day at least for 30, 45 minutes or even more. No excuses because I saw that my friend, he showed me a YouTube channel. Um, he actually does photography, but he was saying how his this person was trying to reinvigorate, reinvigorate his love for photography by doing a 30-day challenge. So I thought, oh, maybe I should apply that to DJing. So it's like my 11th day, and I've been streaming a lot on Twitch, learning about green screen, After Effects, OBS. So I love playing with those technical little small things. Oh, that's so awesome. Yeah, you're amazing with it. I've tuned into a few of your live streams. I love everything you're doing. You're inspiring me to learn After Effects and learn green screen. Um, so maybe we could talk about that another time. Is But is After Effects something, is it a program with um, Adobe? Yeah, it's, it's part of the Adobe Suite. Okay, cool. Great. Awesome. So on Twitch, uh, any tips for anybody that, you know, is trying to build a Twitch following or wants mm -hmm. to do more live streaming and maybe they're scared or they're not sure, you know, how to set it up? Like, Sure. Yeah. The technical part can be very daunting. There's been many weekends where I just sit and spend eight hours straight just learning things because with Twitch, you have, also have to come up with your own emotes. Like, it's really cool that you have your own emotes. So I have one of like me drinking, me saying ha ha or like a shy emote. So that's really fun. And I outsource a lot of that art creative stuff to Fiverr. So my background on Twitch, I got on Fiverr. So I guess whatever part you can't do, you could just outsource. But there's a lot of documentation to read on Twitch, which I've been just scrolling through because there's a lot of panels and modules there that I need to go to um, to do certain things like set up moderators because sometimes people might chat and you want to moderate it. Um, but yeah, I guess I really like my ring light for Twitch. Um, so I use a lot of lighting and also use a fan because it could get really hot DJing at home. <laughs> it does. It totally yeah. does. And I was DJing a little bit at home. It I think just live streaming makes you hotter for some reason. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like a different, it's a whole different experience um, of DJing than out in person. But um, yeah. Yeah, the ring lights are great. I'm glad you mentioned that. If you, if anyone listening does not have a ring light yet, go get one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lighting is so important. Um, that's awesome. And yeah, Fiverr is a great resource for anything. Actually, when I wrote my book, How to Start a DJ Business, I needed someone to proofread it and it was over the holidays and none of my team was working. And I found an, an editor proofreader on Fiverr.com to edit my book on Christmas. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're really good. You can find almost anything there. It's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I I don't love all the tech part of OBS. I was fortunate to have someone create an overlay for me and set me up and um, I'm really grateful for that, <laughs> for that, that help there, but, um, there's yeah. so many things we can do and there's a lot of, um, space for creativity with live streams. And, and I see you being very creative. So if anybody listening, tune in to DJ Woo Woo mm -hmm. on her Twitch channel. Is it DJ, is it twitch.tv slash <laughs> w DJ <laughs> W woo woo. How do you say it? Yeah, it's twitch.tv slash DJ underscore woo woo. Okay, DJ underscore woo woo. Thank you. Got that. <laughs> Go follow her. We'll add links to this. So I want to talk about your experience recently um, with Gary V, with T with Gary V. Tell me how are you a big Gary V fan? I am. Yeah, I really am. So I really love watching his Instagram content, his Twitch content too. He does it really early in the morning. So tea with Gary V at 6 a.m. So sometimes I'll, I, I am a morning person, so I can tune in. But he has a lot of like insightful information. So I really love his advice that he gives. Yeah, absolutely. So you were able to join him and speak with him on Tea with Gary V. So how did, how did that happen? Um, well, I guess I just started to follow his TikTok and I followed his Instagram and then I saw, wait, if you want to ask a question, just text this number over here. And so I texted a question to it and I, little did I know, I, I thought I wouldn't get selected, but four days later, I'm getting a text from someone on his team asking, hey, your question got selected to be asked on TV with Gary Vee. And I was really nervous, but it was really worth it, rewarding. Um, I'm happy with what I learned and also what I got from, um, 
his advice. So I'm, I'm pretty happy about it. That's really awesome. Yeah, I'm on his text message list. So yesterday mm -hmm. I got a text message that said, get to know yourself, take things thoughtfully. The road to your happiness can come in a million forms. Be self-aware, try things, always love yourself most. And I just love his little inspirational text that I get. And I, I love all his advice too. I mean, he's like, I always think about him where I'm like, content, 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 mm -hmm. or I'll be like, anywhere I'm at, I'm like, content, 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 <laughs> and like, be on all platforms, you know, be, um, yeah. be everywhere, and my business coach, Sasha Sterling, she had seen him speak last year, and she came back and told me, she's like, Michelle, you need to get on LinkedIn, you need to get on TikTok, so I've been slowly working my way on those platforms, mm -hmm. um, and getting some help with them. But yeah, I really, I really think he has a really good thing going on. So that's so awesome that you got to <laughs> chat with him. So he was saying something to you about not monetizing on DJing. Mm -hmm. So me as a business coach, I was kind of like, oh, interesting, because I just, I'm like, you can make really good money DJing, mm -hmm. but yeah, it doesn't have to be about that if that's your passion and that's your joy. Putting mm -hmm. the pressure on to monetize could maybe take some of that joy or fun out of it for you. Um, I think there's a fine, there's probably a fine balance though. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, very cool. So um, what advice would you have for anybody listening that wants to start DJing, but maybe they don't know where to start or what to do? I guess the first part is you might be scared of just trying things out because that's what I have with After Effects. I look at it, and I'm like, wow, this is so daunting. I'm scared. Ableton, I'm still scared of too. But I guess like, as Nike would say, just do it. <laughs> just immerse yourself in it. And I think once you get the barrier of fear, it kind of, you could kind of just do it. Um, like last night, I learned a really quick Photoshop tutorial on how to cut someone out. It only took 10 minutes, but I think I had to, before this, I was really scared of Photoshop. And I think I had to develop some of my confidence myself to see, okay, I am capable of learning. I am capable of even being a fast learner if I wanted to. So whatever that is that's scaring me from learning something new, um, try to address it. And then I'm pretty sure it'll be a smooth selling path to learning a lot of like cool DJ tricks and marketing stuff related to it. Yeah, I love that. That's great advice. Um, I always say that too. I mean, people that are afraid to do live videos or be on camera, um, it's it. you just have to do it. That is the mm -hmm. only way you're going to get over yourself and, and stop criticizing yourself or, you know, the little voices in your head that say, oh, I sound weird. I look weird or whatever. I'm worried about what other people will think of my life. Like you have to just let all that go and just do yeah. it. And the more you do it, the more comfortable you will get. And I always say confidence comes from experience. The more you oh, yeah. do it, the more confident you get, the easier it gets. And then another thing, when I feel the, that nervousness coming in, because it still comes in 11 years later after DJ. Mm -hmm. I just say, have fun. I just tell myself, just have fun. Like have fun mm -hmm. with it, whatever you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. I think another one that I could probably adopt is meditating beforehand. If I like take deep breaths before and then go live, I'll like, I'll probably be more calm. Mm, yes. Grounding in. Sometimes when I start these interviews, it's a little hectic and I'm like, okay guys, <sighs> let's just take a breath. Be here now, be present. Like all these yeah. little, little things can go a long way. A few deep breaths can go a long way. <laughs> oh, definitely. And like, yeah, just positive affirmation for myself is what I kind of try to do. Mm -hmm. Self pep talks are very helpful. <laughs> yeah. Be like, you got this, girl. You got this. <laughs> Your yeah, own cheerleader. <laughs> awesome. So, anything exciting coming up besides your 30 day challenge, which you're. you're Third, a third of the way through. <laughs> I know that part is really exciting. Um, not much, honestly, I'm still trying to build my TikTok as well. What I'm trying to, so I just got a thousand followers on TikTok and after you unlock a thousand, you can actually live stream. That's the main purpose of like why I wanted a thousand. So that I am working on like seeing when my first live stream is because I think I need more tools to successfully stream 
um, connecting my controller to my phone for TikTok. But some cool idea I had was I've been learning so many TikTok dances um, to just put a whole set of TikToks, um, TikTok songs and like being able to do a dance to all of them while performing a set. It's something that I do look forward to. I don't know when it's going to happen, but I do want to do that down the line. Oh, I love it. That's, that's awesome. Yeah, you're, you got the dances down. I can do the dances. <laughs> like, my son was trying to teach me last night. And I'm like, eh, it's not happening. But yeah, that's I have so another um, a client of mine, DJ Stephanie Stardust, and she just hit her thousand because she's a part of a festival, a TikTok DJ live streaming festival happening. So we, we can um, reach out to her and the female DJ mm -hmm. group or, you know, that's a great resource, our female DJ group on Facebook and ask for any advice or tips with that. But congratulations, a thousand, um, what is it, followers? That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. Well, I think you're doing amazing things. Keep up the good work. And thank you so much for being a part of the show. Let, um, tell our audience how they can find you online. Okay. Um, so social media handles, they're mostly DJ at DJ Woo Woo for Mixcloud and Soundcloud. Instagram, it is DJ dot Woo Woo. And TikTok is DJ Woo Woo without the period. And Twitch, as I mentioned before, is DJ underscore Woo Woo. All right, wonderful. Go follow her, show her some love, check her out. She's amazing. Thank you all for tuning in and stay tuned for more amazing interviews of talented, unique, creative female DJs from all over the world. Go to my website to claim your free gift, a digital copy of my best-selling book, How to Start a DJ Business, www.djrundat.com. Follow me on all social media handles, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch at DJ Rundat. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, to learn how you can book me or work with me, go to my website or email me at michelle at djrundat.com.